It's another year of Syracuse football, and the Orange get ready to start the season this year against Colgate in the opener, and linebacker Marlo Wax is with us here for a couple minutes. Marlo, I'm sure you're just amped for game week. How's it feel that we're finally almost there for the first game? For sure. It's definitely been a long summer, long offseason. I'm just ready to be back in the dome while the fans just go out there and have fun. And you've been around the block a little bit now. You've been through some of these training camps. How did, how did this training camp feel compared to some of the others in your first couple of years? Yeah, de definitely getting used to it. Definitely being an older guy, more in that, in that leader role now. So just focusing on helping the young guys, getting them ready, and just getting them, getting them ready for Saturday because they don't really know how it feels yet. You got a new defensive coordinator this year as well. Same defense, 3-3-5 scheme remains, but Rocky Long is the new DC. How's it been like working with him? Man, Coach Long, he's been, he's been coaching a long time, so he knows he knows a lot of football. So I'm happy to just see football through his lens and just getting ready to see how he attacks different offenses, offenses and things like that. Did his coaching philosophy and strategies change or differ compared to kind of some of the previous regimes here? I'll say just just different terminology, and but really can't really can't wait, really can't see. Just gotta wait till game day, see how he like has different checks and things like that, and just just different schemes and stuff. And you're also a captain this season as well, one of the six team captains, one of the leaders. What does that responsibility mean to you? Yeah, for sure. So first of all, I'm just very thankful. I've never been – first time being a captain in college, that would be something I dreamed, for, dreamed of. But it's just – this is a different role I got to step into, maybe being more um, vocal and things like that. But I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the challenge. Is it something that kind of comes natural to you? you know, some guys say they're just a natural leader. Did you have to kind of get out of your shell a little bit to be a vocal guy? Yeah, definitely. I was one of the laid back, chill guys. It wasn't really vocal, but definitely had to get out of that shell and be more vocal and things like that. But teammates, there, they're right there by my side. They're helping me along the way. So it's, it's good. It's fun. And I'm sure kind of watching Mikel Jones in right. that role last year right. probably helped you a little bit with being the captain and knowing what to expect. Definitely. I definitely had a great leader in my room coming here, so I was thankful for that. Michael, I tell him all the time, he helped me a lot, lead me in the right way, so give a lot of thanks to him. It feels like this year you guys are maybe even a little bit more deeper on defense, mm -hmm. and you've got some young guys that are ready to step up. Who in particular throughout training camp has caught your eye as one of the leaders, seeing some of these young guys play well in the early training camp sessions? Man, there's so many guys on defense. I just I just think about that, that D-line room, like Dennis Jaquez and Kevin Jobe, they're just balling every day, coming in, working, so I'm ready to see what they can do this Saturday. For sure, and being a leader this year, a little bit more responsibility on your shoulders. What's kind of the goals for you personally going into this season and going into Week One against Colgate? Um, just definitely just being a leader. That's, that's what the main focus is right now, and just lead the young guys behind me. But just just being that guy that everybody looks to to make those plays and just you know go out there and have fun and ball out. All right, we also got to ask about the Mob Podcast. I know you guys, I think you're in the market for a third co-host right yeah, now. Is there are. any updates on that? Uh, I don't really know yet. I got, I got to talk to Caleb a little bit more about that, but we're going to see how it goes. Okay, but it's returning this season, yeah, right? We yeah. can confirm that? Yes, sir, we can. Yeah, awesome. We can. Well, it makes me, as a broadcasting guy, <laughs> kind of envious because you guys just stepped into that role and you know <laughs> I went to Newhouse I trained I did everything the right way and you just made it look easy out there yeah we did we did just run right into it me being that laid back guy doing something like that was definitely different than you but it's fun I see why you're in this in this role right <laughs> now but it's definitely fun I want to ask you too uh three more captains were named this week and another defensive captain is Isaiah Johnson mm -hmm. To Syracuse fans that maybe haven't watched him play a ton, what can you say about how he earned that role? Just, just his energy on the field each and every day in the locker room and how he just practices and things like that. And we all know he's come game day, he's going to have fun. But the guys just follow behind him with his energy and just the way he loves lo to talk to guys and stuff like that. All right, Marlo Wax getting ready for game one here against Colgate. We appreciate you taking some time with us. Thank you. I appreciate you. Have a good one. That's Marlo Wax. You can catch him on the field this Saturday against Colgate at 4 p.m.